Today I'd like to discuss the issue of 5G LTE cell phone signal interference with over-the-air TV reception and an easy way to solve the problem. If you use a TV antenna to receive free over-the-air broadcasts in your area and you notice that you have intermittent pixelation on some TV channels, and you also happen to live in an area that has 3G, 4G, 5G, and LTE cell phone signals, chances are that those cell phone signals are causing interference with your over-the-air TV channels. One of the big reasons for this is that cell phone signals are very powerful, especially compared to fragile over-the-air TV signals. The other reason is, is that most of the TV spectrum has been sold off to cell phone companies to the point where cell phone signals are sitting literally right beside over-the-air TV signals on the radio frequency spectrum. Powerful cell phone signals only sit about 20 megahertz or three or four channels over from fragile TV signals on the radio frequency spectrum. How do you stop these powerful signals from wreaking havoc with your TV reception? A simple solution is to install one of these. This is an inline LTE 5G filter made by Antop Antenna Company. And this works by filtering out noise and interference from 3G, 4G, 5G, or LTE cell phone signals while still allowing your over-the-air TV signal to pass through from your antenna to your TV or digital converter box. Let's take a look at the specs on this filter. First of all, the pass band that goes out to your TV or digital converter box is from 5 megahertz to 609 megahertz. Now that pass band has a bit of buffer on either side of it so that you're not gonna lose any TV signal. That is a wide enough bandwidth to cover from RF channel two on the low VHF band all the way up to RF channel 36 on the high part of the UHF band. Now the actual block band, this is the part that's completely attenuated or blocked out, is from 630 to 2000 megahertz. Those are your 3G, 4G, 5G LTE cell phone signals. Those are the frequencies used for those. So this filter will completely block those out, but you can see that there is a little bit of a no man's land, so to speak, between 609 and 630. That spot on the spectrum is actually occupied by channel 37, 38, 39, 40. 37 has always been reserved for radio astronomy. And that area of the filter is going to be more of a gradual roll off. So there, those frequencies will be attenuated, but they are going to be more of a gradual roll off and they're not going to be a problem. They shouldn't cause any interference at all with your TV signal. They'll be muted enough that they won't cause any disruptions. Here's my not so scientific diagram to explain the frequency roll off piece. The pass band that the filter allows through is your TV signal from five to 609 megahertz. That will pass through from your antenna to your television or digital converter box. But then when you hit this point here, just after 609 megahertz, there's going to be a bit of a slope or a gradual roll off or attenuation of these frequencies covering RF channel 37 to 40. This is kind of a gradual roll off. Then you hit the zero mark here where these frequencies are pretty much completely attenuated or muted. And that's where you get to your block band, the part that the filter is completely eliminating from 630 up to 2000 megahertz. And this zone gets you into the 4G, 5G LTE cell phone signals that are causing all that interference. Keep in mind that this part of the band that carries 5G LTE signals at one time carried TV channels 38 and above. Any interference caused by those cell signals will be blocked by this filter. The TV channels most likely to experience interference from 5G LTE signals are probably the ones that are highest on the UHF band, probably RF channels 33 through 36, which broadcast between 584 and 608 megahertz. Interestingly enough, I've read online reviews about these types of filters where viewers report interference on TV channels they claim to be on the VHF band. In reality, those channels are probably simply displaying on virtual channels 2 through 13 on your television, and they're actually broadcasting on RF channels 14 through 36 on the UHF band. 
which explains why they're experiencing 5G LTE interference in the first place, and also why adding in a filter like this clears up the problem. Case in point, I have a cell tower very close to my house, and even though in Thunder Bay we do not have 5G service yet, we have LTE service, I don't experience any interference on my local over-the-air stations, mainly because they all broadcast on the VHF band on RF channels 2, 4, and 9, and those frequencies are nowhere near the frequencies used to carry cell phone signals. One important side note is that this type of picture breakup is not caused by LTE or 5G interference. This indicates a problem with your antenna. Either you're using the wrong kind of antenna or you've got it in the wrong location. Now, as I said already, the simplest type of installation with this filter is when you don't have an amplifier in the system at all, you're simply installing the filter in line between your TV antenna and your digital converter box or television. And this works the same whether it's an outdoor antenna or an indoor antenna. However, if you are installing this filter and your system has an amplifier, it's very important to remember that the filter should always be installed before the amplifier. The reason for this is so that the filter eliminates any noise or interference before it reaches your amplifier. And this way, the only thing being amplified is your TV signal and not a bunch of noise. If you're installing this with an indoor antenna that you use a signal booster on or any kind of distribution amplifier, you wanna make sure the filter is put in line before the amplifier. So it's going to be antenna, filter, amplifier, and then out to the TVs. Now, if you're installing this filter with an outdoor antenna that has a preamp that's installed outside at the antenna, then ideally this filter should be installed before the preamp. But because this filter is for indoor use only, that means if you install it outside, you're going to have to put it in some kind of a weatherproof box or cover where it's not going to be exposed to the elements. But once again, if you install this filter, it should always come before any amplification takes place in the system. And also, if you are using this filter with an antenna that has an outdoor preamp, rest assured that this filter does allow for DC voltage passing, meaning that voltage can be passed back from your receiver or a power supply through the filter back out to the preamp at your antenna. If you're looking to buy a filter like this to eliminate 5G LTE interference on your over-the-air TV signal, check the description of this video for a purchase link, as well as a special discount code for my viewers.